name is Alejandra. I am a transgender woman from Mexico, living in the Netherlands since 2015. Over there, due to the circumstances of, of my childhood, uh, of my identity, of laws and regulation that did not allow me, let's say, to change my name, I was already sort of living in this limbo status over there. Mexico, my own land, in a way promised its citizens to have a full, uh, fulfilling life, but did not deliver. Alejandra, she fled Mexico seven years ago and she still didn't get any uh, status here in the Netherlands because her, the, the immigration service is not taking her, uh, her safety in Mexico seriously. So they see Mexico as this LGBTQ tolerant country because they have like gay marriage and on paper it's a safe country. But there's a, a big gap between the law and the, and the reality there. Most Dutch people I have talked to that they went to Mexico, they only went to two places, the Riviera Maya or Mexico City. And those are places like the Riviera Maya, Cancun, are made for tourism, are made to cater and to show the best part of Mexico. I asked Alejandra like, hey, uh, shall I go on, on holiday to, your, to Mexico? Can I, can I visit your, your family? And she was like, uh, yeah, of course. I honestly thought it would be very dangerous for her because Mexico is really dangerous, especially the area where I come from. And I, I told her, so long you stay with my family, you'll be okay, but you will have the same protections as they have, close to nothing. Now, if you say, if you go to the north in Mexico, people are like, are you crazy? <laughs> because I had this whole holiday topic in my mind. I was like, maybe she can guide me. And I am like her eyes and her ears there to actually take the picture she can't make. We have a photo exposition here uh, with images taken from Iris. She went to visit my village in Mexico, San Litral de Carrera. And we also do in this performance in which I live here in this space between Nelberg and, and, and the street. And it's to reflect my own state of limbo. This project aims to raise awareness about the limbo-like uh, status Alejandra is living in, like many other transgender refugees in her uh, situation, uh, which is a state between living and waiting. Uh, because on one hand, Alejandra cannot return to her home country, Mexico. Uh, but on the other hand, she cannot start her life here and live freely here. Uh, until she gets uh, granted her asylum request. There is uh, this image of a slide on the village only park next to some mesquite trees. I actually was reminded when I first saw the image of the times um, boys used to bully me. There were several times that boys, teenagers, younger men, used to hang me upside down from mesquite trees for fun. They're fun, of course. I think the image is nice, it's beautiful, but I really cannot see it. What I hope people take away from this exhibition is that they get a better understanding of what people uh, like Alejandra, transgender uh, refugees who are in search of, of safety after having to uh, flee their home countries, what they are dealing with on a daily basis. 